Good morning. In this session, I will demonstrate how to use the GPU simulation tools. The program in the lecture example of the multiplying two vector is shown here on the screen. And I will assemble this program and run it in the simulation for you. First, we use the tool from here. I use my window platform. You can also use Mac OS using this package. Uh, we run the tools in the terminal. So I call up my command prompt in window. Okay, is, is, is this shown on the screen? Right. And I will move to the correct directory. Um, the place I put my tools in this directory. Once you unpackage it, you will get the assembler ASM4 and the simulator SIM4. And I put everything in the test directory. Okay. Let's see where what is in the test directory. I contain a few examples, but the one that we want to try is this one the multiply to vector, okay, right? It's like this, okay. So we just move uh, our terminal to the right directory. Um, it's here. MPU4 and the test. We are at the right directory now. So uh, the source is here. We, I will type it up. Okay. And we have to assemble it or uh, change it into object code, right? So we use this to ASM4, come from multiply the text, and I keep the output to multiply the OBJ. Okay. Right, the assemble uh, is correct. So we have to see what the object code look like. So it looks like this, and this is required to be the kind of machine code in the human readable format. Okay. So we will run this program uh, inside the simulation. Okay, sim four multiply dot obj. Okay, as usual, my uh, tools run in the kind of command line mode. And the first thing you may want to see is uh, uh, what the command available. Okay, so we type H. So as usual, we can single step, we can go through the program and we can see uh, various information inside the chip itself. Okay, let's start with uh, running this program step by step because this program, as you can see here, is just uh, getting the first vector into register zero, getting the second vector into register one, and then multiply two together and store back to the memory, then then stop. Right. So let's go. Right. The first step uh, is uh, getting the first uh, element of the vector B into uh, local data. Right? You can see this one. Right? The first vector is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the second vector is 5, 6, 7, 8. And we go three more to get all of them. Second element, third element, fourth element. Now we have the first vector into 
all the local data. The next instruction is just a moving from local data to register. You can see that they, we show a few register of each call available. Okay, so this is call number zero, call number one, number two, and number three. On the next uh, few instructions, we'll just do similar thing and getting the second vector or vector C into register one. Okay, so let's move them one, two, three, four, right? And we have the second vector in local data, five, six, seven, eight. And we move this to register number one by the next instruction, okay, load register. So uh, the first vector in register zero, four of the element, and the uh, second vector in register one, Next instruction is to multiply them. This is a kind of parallel, okay? Right? So all, all the elements multiply into register number two. The last step is to move it out. So we move from these two to local storage first, right? And then sequentially move element the data to the main memory one by one because of the bottleneck or the the connection between main memory and local data. Okay. Three, four. Okay, so that's all. And we can see if the uh, information is correct there. Uh, I think the uh, the result contained in this location uh, address 400, 640, and we dump 10 number to see. Right, you can see the result store in the memory. We can also see the uh, first two vectors store in the memory as well. I think it's a uh, number 512. Right? You can see the vector B, right, the first four, and the vector C, the second four. Right, then the last instruction is a, 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 a stop the simulation. Right? It's this four, right? there's nothing more. So that concludes the demonstration. I hope you can modify the program and run the simulation successfully. Bye-bye, see you next time.